Fox Lake in the distance. See the Rocky Mountains. Hopefully the uh, camera can pick it up. Even running here on the blood reserve <clears throat> by my work, um, it's much more difficult because uh, we're at a higher altitude, pretty much at the foothills of the Rockies. And uh, so it's a lot less oxygen, I think. I know I can run quite a bit further and with uh, quite a bit more ease at home in Lethbridge, just an hour away. Yeah, so after uh, yesterday's excursion with my porcupine encounter and then seeing the uh, kind of martial arts training station of the buck deer really got me kind of excited about um, the potential of learning more of uh, martial arts from the animals. And I want to do it, you know, outside with my own actual observations. But this morning, I went online and went on YouTube, started looking at some videos of uh, animal fights, and <clears throat> found uh, several really good ones that demonstrate that there are a lot of animals out there who practice jujitsu, basically. What we call jujitsu is uh, definitely not unique to humans. Um, I'm gonna put some links to some of the better ones that I came across um, in the description section of this video. But there's like, and, and most of these I saw before, but I don't know, just a kind of renewed interest. There's a uh, really good one with Joe Rogan commentating on a couple of Kodiak grizzlies who are fighting. And uh, the smaller of the two bears ends up on his back and keeping a really good open guard against the larger bear. The larger bear, a few different times, passes the guard, gets him inside control, but uh, ultimately the smaller bear is always able to get him back in guard. And then he actually wears out, tires out the larger bear. And uh, in the end, the larger bear is backing down. It's that one. It's another real good one um, that the Gracies put out that uh, I think Henry Gracie put out with his dog, Toki, when he left his dog at the uh, doggy daycare, came to pick him up and found him uh, grappling with the other dogs, using all kinds of jiu-jitsu techniques, real classic sweeps and these kind of things. So I'll put the link to that one in there. It's also one that uh, several people have posted on my wall because they know I'm a bird guy. And uh, it features a Australian magpie wrestling around with a, a dog who he's friends with, basically just sparring. And uh, the magpie goes on his back quite a bit purposely and a lot of people might think that that was just mimicking the dog but uh, having lived with magpies and crows I know that corvids um, naturally fight from their back they always fight from their back put their talons up 
they've got all their weapons out front, their beak and their talons. So, you know, if they can't avoid the danger by air, they go right to their back and they fight from the back. <coughs> uh, so I'll put that one in there. And then a fourth one, just another good example, is a, uh, I think it's a, this is the first time I saw it this morning. Might be a recent video, but it features two kangaroos that are fighting. And they fight with strikes, with kicks and punches for about close to five minutes. And then one of them gets knocked down. And the other one, very strategically and methodically, comes over him, puts him in a uh, blood choke, and chokes him unconscious. It's a really good video to show that uh, even even the, those blood chokes, like the rear naked choke, for instance, are something that are not to, unique to humans. <clears throat> so, yeah, so check out the links. Um, be sure to, uh, if you know any other good examples, particularly focus on, on jujitsu with these ones, um, you can add them in the comment sections. I just think it's really uh, fascinating, you know, especially when there's still a resistance out there among some people to jujitsu. And here there's really good evidence that uh, this is what works and what's utilized in a lot of cases in the animal world.